in the days when we used to have computers that looked like this, we had apps that looked like this. And thanks to the wonders of modern technology, it's an app. It's called POG, P-O-G-G, -G, and just like way back in the days of the BBC Micro, you're going to want it today. Basically, this app is really simple. Go to the instructions, read it. It says, use the keyboard to tell POG what to do, type in your word, then use the go button. You can, you can try words like hop and slide, and there's lots of other actions POG will do as well. You can also choose a button as well. So let's go to spelling, and let's say uh, dance. So we want POG to dance, let's go, and let's just see. And there he goes, dancing. Fantastic. Now, of course, Pog doesn't do every single word in the, the whole of our vocabulary, but it has some uh, pretty obvious ones. So let's go to walk. So let's see if we can get Pog to walk. And then, there well, he goes. There you go. Brilliant stuff. If you don't want to use the uh, keyboard, then go to pictures. And you can see some of the actions there. So. Let's have a look. Let's uh, go for, uh, oh, modern phone. There we go. This is a really great take on a, what was a, a really old app which uh, ran on the BBC computer. It's brilliant. It's called Pog and uh, you can download it on the iTunes store. And the great news is that Pog is also available on Android. Here it is on one of our Tesco huddles. So there you go. A quick app for you from Hurstwood Training. Hopefully catch you again. Bye.